concert. It is time for your mid-March, April um, reading for this current year. Sorry, I totally forgot what month it was. Jesus Christ, cracker biscuits, man. How are you doing, Cancer? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to be doing Thunderdome readings. So there's going to be two readings for you and the person you're dealing with, Cancer. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't worry. There are other people who can read for you. If it does resonate with you, congratulations. I don't know what to tell you, except, like, what's here. Right? Right. Um, still taking personal readings, so if you want one, my email is down below. Just hit me up. I don't really charge for them. You can donate if you feel like it, but other than that, like, I, I'll just do you reading. I don't give a shit. Ah, uh, definitely trying to move on from some memories from the past. Childhood happiness at times, right? Maybe something bothering you about the past that you're trying to get away from a little bit. That's okay. We're going to see what happened. We're going to see whose food you ate and you didn't speak up when they asked who ate it. That's what we're going to do. I feel like, like, I don't know why I... What? That doesn't make any sense. Why would, why would you eat somebody's food and then why wouldn't you admit it once you do it? Like that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it does. You're cancer. Never mind. You guys are sideways about shit. All right. So group one, we're going to start with you as always. You can be the first card since you're so chipper. Prince as of. Pentacles. Sort of page reversed. Either an idiot or really, really lacking offer. Right? Like someone who could be a disappointment. Uh, your wants and wishes is the alien. Virgo's card. Also known as a hermit. Then we get the Hierophant, Taurus, in the fears and rejections. Um, Libra. Look at this. Justice reversed. In the situation. Four of Wands reversed in the obstacles and challenges. What's coming against you, dear Cancers? King of Pentacles reverse. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, just like the Princess of Pentacles over here. The catalyst as well as the final result. I feel like this could be the same person or this could just be the same vibe. I don't know yet. And the beginning theme is Princess of Cups not offering shit. <laughs> Not open enough. Kind of being childish about it. Doesn't want to, like, participate. Just wants to sit there and... I feel like... Almost judge. You know, not really... Giving... Someone the... Alright. Okay, like, she's standing on her tiptoes. Trying to be her childish. She's got a ball like she's going to play. She's got like some sort of thing on her eye or whatever, right? But she looks like she's way, way, way too old to be acting this childish. But she is. She's very open. Very expressive. But she's reversed, so it's like opposite of that, right? It's like she doesn't want to express anything. She doesn't want to open up. She doesn't want to like talk about things right i feel like i feel like she just wants to keep to herself and not like really express much so there's princess of pentacles right could be an idiot with a shitty offer could be just somebody who's a disappointment right Capricorn towards Virgo, there might be an offer you're trying to get there, or something just is a weed more than it is a flower. Ooh. But somebody wants to work on it. Like, maybe the offer just isn't perfected yet, and they still need time to work on stuff. Right? That makes sense. Alright. Yeah, if it's, if it's a shitty offer right now, it'd probably be better for you to keep working on something. Focus. Thank you. And, and, like, like you don't want to give somebody something that, like, isn't really good. But then we got the Justice Reverse right here, which is, like, head over hard decision. Libra, bad karma. Um, all the options are shit. You can't decide what options are even good. 
Or no matter what you decide, none of the options work out. It leaves you emotionally confused. It leaves you feeling, ugh. It leaves you upset. It leaves you all in your feelings, and you feel like you don't want anything at all now. Like, you don't want any of these options. You don't think that you should have to choose head over heart decision over all of these options. You feel like it's more of a burden. Yeah, you feel like it's more of a burden than anything. And that's probably why you're sitting here waiting and, like, working on an offer, trying to craft it up. Like, maybe you actually know you have to work on it before you can deliver. But you don't like having to do that. So it's just like, I don't want to do any of this. This is, like, really shitty. Like, why do I want these options? Like, what do these options do for me? And it's like... Like, you know you gotta work on it, right? We got the alien or the hermit up here. Where are those cards? Someone's isolating themselves, looking inside. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so old. Okay. King of Cups reversed because you're too emotional and you don't give a shit about anyone else's emotions. <laughs> what? Could be you, Cancer. Could be it's Pisces. Could be a Scorpio. But somebody's really looking into themselves, I think, about how they've been behaving. I think someone's been digging deep inside themselves because they, I think... I think maybe they realize that, like, either they realize that they've been really out of whack with their emotions and they haven't been really involved with themselves as much as they sh shouldn't be, or someone's just isolating themselves because they can't be logical with their emotions right now. Like, it's too much for them. He's got the thousand yard stare, but the water is going to be creeping down very soon, and I feel like, you know, like... You're just keeping yourself because you can't keep your emotions in check. A little bit, group one. Ooh. Yeah. And here's the four of wands down here going against you, right? This closed door policy sometimes described by a reader I once read. And I was like, oh, that's a good way to describe it. I'm going to start using that now. I just stole the shit. It could. Didn't mean to, but, you know, it's whatever. But it makes sense that the four of wands would be like a closed door. Because upright is like open door, but... Reverse is like chaos and shit, right? And I feel like there is a closed chapter with these two people, a masculine and a feminine, who were together, who were happy once, and now it's closed out, and it's like that's bad karma. Libra once again. Right next to each other. It's like someone would rather... Like, the door is closed because of, like... <laughs> they can't, possibly King of Cups bad behavior. It's like someone knows and needs us to work on some shit, but they don't like that option. And they'd rather just isolate themselves and keep their shitty behavior than open a door back up where they were happy. It's so fucking weird. Um, the Hierophant. I feel really annoyed, and I feel like you're annoyed, Group 1. But, like... Not in, like, the, um, I'm getting annoyed and I'm starting to get pissed kind of way. It's more like I'm annoyed and I just don't want to focus on this anymore, right? The Hierophant could be, um, commitment and stuff, right? That's a fear. It is also an illusion, There might be things you have to learn, marriage material, um, coming together with something. There's something you definitely don't know here, and there's some illusion behind it, and that's what you're afraid of. This could be you, Cancer, or it could be a Pisces you're possibly dealing with in this scenario, but somebody here um, is being almost fooled by somebody in a, a, a position of authority. Into a commitment, and it's almost like you're afraid of that, or that's what you're trying to reject. Or maybe there's just an illusion that, like, someone here is in control. That could be it as well. You're gonna have to dig that house out. 
It actually hurts. But yeah, it's like... Someone is just... Like, someone's under a strange uh, fear of, like, commitment or something. Possibly a t with a Taurus, but it's like, there's an illusion with that. There's an illusion when it comes to this commitment, and someone is aware of it. They could be rejecting it, they could be fearing it, or maybe they just don't want to see things as it is. Then we got King of Pentacles, right? He is reverse, so con man, possibly lies, possibly tries to pretend that he's a provider, and really he's just a freaking vampire of your stuff. Ooh. You are waiting, apparently, on them. Why is everyone fucking waiting? Don't let's quit waiting. You're waiting for something. Or maybe they're waiting for you. One of the two. Like, is that what the Hierophant and the Moon's all about? Like, are you, is someone under this illusion? of control and they're afraid they don't actually have control or has the authority to be like what will and will not happen because that's an illusion like things will happen the way they're supposed to nobody can like dictate how events come to play like is that the fear of rejection like someone's afraid they can't cause something to happen like do you want this king of pentacles back why what, what, what the fuck are they for? <laughs> and then with the Princess of the Cup, she's not opening up because she's been left out in the cold. That's why. She's very, um, keeping, my, keeping to herself because she's been left out in the cold, possibly abandoned, feeling like Five of Pentacles. It's like someone just doesn't want to, like, try. Like, you already realize that you have to work on this offer. But are you working on it because you don't have any other option? Or are you working on it despite the fact that you think it's a sh you, you can't figure out what to do? Or are you just deciding not to do it because you don't like the options to begin with and you'd rather isolate yourself? Like, it's up to you, group one. But I'm just saying, it's like... How stubborn do you have to be before you drive yourself crazy? What are the three vice cards for these? There's the one. Ooh! Look at that. Um, you're working on, like, making an offer for sure. Ace of Cups, right? You might apologize to somebody. You might offer a love adventure to somebody. Probably because you don't have a choice. I'm sorry, but it's just like... You, like, are you giving yourself a choice in this? Like, do you even want this? Does this make you happy? Like, do what ma you know will make you happy. I, I, don't, I don't know if you really want to do this or not. Like, I mean, is it really worth making yourself uncomfortable? Do you do things that you don't want to do? Or is it just uncomfortable because it's the right thing to do? I'm not sure. Ah! Ah! Okay, yeah. Alright, Five of Swords <laughs> reverse. Someone is um definitely looking back at their enemies to see if they're going to come back or not. For that second helping of, like, kick your ass. Right? <clears throat> but they're not coming back. In fact, you won the battle. You just happen to lose the world. War! At the same time. Like, yeah, you defended yourself, sure, but at what cost? <clears throat> By the cost of the door being closed for the... For bad things. For for bad karma. The door was closed because of bad karma. This is the bad karma. I feel like. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's whatever, but it's like... I don't think so, because, like, he's reversed right here. It's just like, nah, it's probably... What it is, what it is. Mm. I feel like that was it. I was just like, eh, what did you do? It's like, get that door closed, I wonder. I really hope, like, like group one, your offer does work. I mean, even if it's really shitty, no matter how much you've worked on it. Like, you know, it's the effort that counts. That's what people look at more. Like, if you tried, you tried. 
ah, yeah, and you're going to bring an end to this fighting group one. So there you go. I think if you actually, I, I think if this is for an apology, if you actually go up and tell the person, like, I'm sorry for this and that, everything that you've done to them, this will end whatever it is that, like, you're going through, I think. With this whole scenario, I think that's going to bring you out of the cold. Like, you want to end the fighting anyway. But I also feel like you're waiting on this person to bring the end of the fighting, too. You know, because, um... You know, that's what it, it kind of seems like. Because you got the Ace of Cups where you want to make an offer. You're working on the offer. You really don't, actually, you really don't want to work on the offer, but you're doing it anyway because, you know, like, I need this. But you're still watching this person walk away from you. And you're waiting on this person... To end the fight, and there might be a possibility where that you actually think that this is the right thing to do, but that is an illusion. Because you, you gotta work on the offer. And if you're, if, and I think there is an end to the fighting. Because you're still waiting on this person. And it looks like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if they're coming back. Like, look at you, you're just walking around and you got like this dude. Symbolism for like that hunch on your back. You know? Following you ceaselessly, like, ah, nah, 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 nah. right? Mm. We're gonna move on to group two. Give me like two seconds. All right, group two. Da, da. Okay. I know there are people who hate the tapping, but it's just like tapity tap tap, motherfucker. Hold my house. <laughs> All right, group two. We're going on to you. I didn't need to stop the camera for that. I just wanted to get more coffee. But my coffee's cold. But that's okay. I don't mind cold coffee. As long as it's my coffee. Alright, group two. It's up to you. Let's see what you're going to do. It's Blues Clues. And you're working on something yourself. Okay. No whammies. Eight of Pentacles. The moon, Cancer, or Pisces right here. What you want? Mm -hmm. So you might want Pisces. Who knows? I don't know where they are in this. So we're going to find out between y'all. Someone will tell me who you are. Ah, fear though. Princess of Cups reversed. That was um, group one's beginning theme. Them not opening up. Princess of Pentacles <laughs> offer. That's shitty. Very disappointing. Um, the higher... The, hi the Hermit or the Alien? And the Hierophant. I shuffled the fuck out of these and these all still came together. Beginning theme. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Capricorn Taurus. Virgo. Someone who's being bitter. Doesn't want to deal with anybody. She thinks she, she might be a little bit demanding and expect people to do more for her. Than she's doing for them right now. Probably because she's all in her feelings and nettled and is just like, fuck you, go away. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. It's like she's not really, like, trying to manifest anything with anybody. She's just by herself. She's just not even putting up with anybody right now. I don't even think she's demanding anything of anybody except for what she wants. She's, I, I, I really feel like this is like Queen of Wands re energy right here, reverse. Just like, I want what I want, and I want it now, and I'm not taking anything less. She's That's the kind of demands I think she's making. Because she can make it, because she, she can do anything she wants on her own. But she's expecting something from somebody else. Hmm. Alright, Eight of Pentacles, working on something. You're working on something, you're investing into something. Use that card next. Yeah, to move on from the past and get to the future. You're definitely trying to invest in something that'll spring you forward from that backwards energy. You could also deal with something bad from the past bothering you as well. But this shit offer, right? This disappointment is a tower moment for you. That's the situation. The disappoint this disappointing offer. It's going to be a tower moment for you. Either you're coming to realize this is a shitty offer or the person who's offering it is just a disappointment. Jesus, fuck. 
And that's why you're moving on? Because there is two people here. I really do feel like it's you and player one. Or group one. And it's just kind of like, hmm. And this is a pointing off or it's just going to be a complete tower moment for you. It's just going to kill that illusion. Possibly the illusion with the moon. Right? Because the moon deals with illusions. It could be being destroyed. In a really fucked way. We got the moon. Speaking of illusions. Very shocked. Cancer or Pisces. There are things hidden. Things are not as they seem. <laughs> things are not as they seem and you're still wanting a reason to stay. Like you want to move forward to a future presence, but you're still looking for a reason to stay here. Oh, but that's because of the illusion. Which I think is the tower, because the tower is like, something was built off of um, false pretenses, right? I should get my, like, chair and bring it over here so I can sit comfortably, because I'm used to sitting in Indian style so much now. I don't know why I started doing that. It's bad for my knees. But yeah, I can't. Or whoever. Group two. Um, this illusion's making you want to, like... It's like dealing with a narcissist, you know, like, you know they're bad for you, but you still can't get over to some thing that they make you feel... There we go. That's oh, a little better. Like, you want them. Even though you know that, like, that it's the false mask of sorts that you're actually wanting the person you thought you knew. But what's going against you is the hermit. You are isolated, looking introspectively. Right? I almost thought that this was like still paused and I would have been so mad. Ooh. The rest of the cards came up. Yeah. Y y someone might be recognizing that this is like not a good relationship. Group two. Like, whatever this is, this is a bondage and like there is definitely something here that is um, growing with malevolent. Or maleficent, or whatever word I'm thinking of, intentions and actions and behaviors and reactions. It's just not entirely good. It could also be with a Capricorn as well. You might be getting an idea that maybe this person just is not good for you. Or this could be a Capricorn realizing this relationship and seeing it for what it is, since this is our card. And the Queen of Pentacles is over here being demanding as fuck. This could be the toxic toxic person as people call them but I don't like using the word toxic on people because when you start using the word toxic unironically you lose your self awareness because then you're just describing yourself and other people you know like you can't look at somebody and um, call that say that like despite all the qualities of what makes them them that they are a bad person people aren't really bad they just do bad things well most people then there are a lot of people who are just really fucked, right? But I don't like judging like that. But it's like someone's definitely like looking at this like, uh, I like this. And like, and look, two people, and there are two people again. Over here, and then everything just comes crashing down. It's like, whatever, like, this is what you want. You want to stay, despite the fact that this illusion is going to come crashing down because of a shitty offer, possibly given to you by group one. But the problem is, is what's going against what you want, which is to stay, is the fact that you're looking inside and really realizing, no, this is a bad idea. Then we get this... Princess of Cups, right? Someone not opening up. Someone kind of keeping their emotions to themselves. You're afraid that could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio once again. Um, they aren't opening up. Actually, they're kind of trying to sneak away. They're trying to get away <laughs> with some stuff. There are, um, they're not opening up and expressing, I think, treacherous behaviors to you. I, I, I think that's what you're afraid of. 
And I almost feel like you, I almost feel like that tower moment is what that is. That's what that fear is. Like, they're not going to fess up to anything. Or they'll try to get away with it and keep sneaking off or whatever. And then we got the Hierophant down here in the Catalyst as well as the final result. The beginning and the end. Um, the right thing or this commitment is nothing but a burden. Ten of Wands reverse. It's like, you know that there are things that you don't know. And then it says it with the moon, and it says it up here with this person trying to, like, just scally away. You realize it's, it's a really bad, unhealthy situation between you and another person, and you know that whatever it is they're offering is just going to verify what the illusion you thought already is. It's like the Hierophant is, like, the person who makes the rules, the person who... Um, is the authority figure, could be Taurus, right? And, and, like, usually, there are things that are still unknown to you. But, when he is upright, he's also the one who does the teachings. He is the person who teaches the lessons. And it just so happens that this lesson that's being taught is nothing but a fucking bird. And he's also a five, too. So there could be conflict involved with that as well. You know, like, oh, we're going to have conf conflicts on beliefs but until we come together with it. And that's like the burden. You know, that commitment is, 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 is a struggle. You know, <laughs> this is what it's saying. It's like, that's why somebody's being really demanding on their turns. It's like, this entire thing is just nothing but a struggle. It's nothing but, like, disappointment and breaking down of fucking falsehoods. What's the ending theme for it, too? Oh, I'm at 26 area. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. They, 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 yeah, this person is just like, I want to heal my broken heart and I'm not taking anything less than what I want. That's like, that's why they're being demanding. Like, they're trying to heal themselves. They're trying to fix themselves. They're trying to um, no longer feel this heartbreak that they're dealing with. And that's what's got them so bitter and so demanding. Like, you're going to meet me on my terms because I don't trust you on your terms. <laughs> like, that is... Okay, I got you. And that's why it's such a burden. Because it's just like, I'm not relenting now. That's what, like... Wow, group two. Like, you... you okay, so you're standing your ground. That's fair. I feel like. What are the three advice cards for you? Okay, that works. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I feel like you're the one defending yourself a little bit in this conflict. And instead of fighting and coming... like It's like you're already heartbroken, so your only resolve is to walk away from this person right here. He's looking, watching you walk away with a smug look on their face. Like, ha ha, I fucking won. Which is just kind of like, okay, that that good for you. Like, I'm glad you won this. It's petty, but it's okay. Right? I feel like that's actually the disappointing offer. It's like all they can offer is to look at the back of your head as you walk away. And that's what they think is a victory. And you're just like ready to like just work on something different. Like you walked away. You want to work on something that takes you away from the past. Um, all this has offered you is a tower moment to realize how much of a disappointment this is. And, and it, it, it doesn't even matter. Like I don't even think that you were the one doing anything too shady. Like if this was you... Group two, who was um, the one pulling... This, like, I think you... If you were the one holding these three swords, I think you were pretty much defending yourself in, like... A... Mind game scenario. Or you really messed someone up with a mind game or something. I don't know. But I really feel like you're just walking away, bloodied or whatever. It was just like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't even care anymore. Like, I don't want to care. You take your victory. I'm going this way and living another day somewhere else away from this, right? Then we got the King of Pentacles upright, which is reversed for group one. He's going to get himself all dressed up. He's going to look at his pentacle and, I'm, and he's going to be like, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. He's going to fix himself after all of this goes down. 
isolating yourself to figure out a relationship, realizing you that like sticking around is nothing but an illusion. And I think you're going to adjust yourself for that. And then you're probably just going to come in and say a bunch of bullshit because you can with the Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right? Yes. Yes, Aquarius is an air sign. <laughs> but yeah, you're just going to come riding in just being like, look it, or someone could try to ride in and talk to you too. They could be trying to come to this King of Pentacles right here to try to say something about a burden and like not coming out about their sneaky behavior. They might just come trying to talk a quick game and the King of Pentacles is just like, oh, okay. I, I, I'm not, yeah, I'm paying attention to you. What'd you say, baby? You know, like, like, sorry, not sorry. Like, has no time to look up at this night while they come riding in with words. Right? Like, he's too, he's too busy focused on, like, what he's got in order to look up at, like, this person riding in with, like, words in their mouth. Right? But... That is the end of the reading. So, Cancers, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this helps you out, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.